Hey everybody, it is I, Mr. Skids, and welcome to the Snack Crate of the Month. And this month, it is Polish themed. Yes, it is going to be all the wonderful treats from Poland this week, or month. My bad. My month. My bro. My month. My month of Poland. So, what we got here today is some interesting treats, mostly chocolate. It seems that uh, the Polish people really love their chocolate. It, it almost seems like they're another European country with lots of windmills and flowers. Mm, I smell conspiracy. Anyway. Let us move on to the first thing that I've noticed, and you probably have noticed, and that is I'm not wearing my hat right now. Because I didn't feel like it, I didn't, I just washed my hair, and I don't feel like putting on my hat. So I'm gonna put on something else today. Something that came with the snack crate. Yes. I should probably put the flower on my face just because. Because there's not much else I can do with these stickers. I am not a child, so it's not like I can really do much with them. There. Now I am pretty. Now I am beautiful. Beautiful! I am beautiful! Our first candy that we have today is called the AHA Bar. Most populated... Populated? Okay then. The first item we have today is the AHA Bars. Popular amongst all detectives and Sherlock Holmes cosplayers. These apparently are named after the sound that they make after you break one off. Like a piece off. That's that they're actually... And according to the um, the thing I read, they are a sesame seed roll when rolled in sugar. So this is what the cracker looks like, as you can see. It's rather lo uh, sugary looking sesame cracker, sesame seed cracker. So let's start off with this. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Aha. Oh, Batman. Old memes, Batman. Mmm. Very crunchy. Got... Just... It's, it's actually got the most perfect balance of sugar with the sesame. It's actually one of the best sesame treats I've ever um, had the fortune of eating. Mmm. Kind of sticks to your teeth a little bit, just like any pretty much sesame treat does. Um, but it's definitely worth it for how good it is. It's very tasty. That's highly recommended. I like these. I like these a lot. Very um, very. The, I I like the texture. I like the flavor. Unlike, uh, not like the um. The uh, French candies where they were all sugar. This one's actually like just enough sugar to give that crunchiness a bit of sweet while also having a bit of the um, the robust like um, burnt or not burnt but like cooked flavor of the sesame seeds which is perfect. It's a perfect blend. I can see why that's so popular in Poland. It's actually really is one of the most popular things in Poland. And I can see why. Moving on from one of the most popular sesame seed foods in uh, all of Poland, we move on to the most popular candy bar all in all of Poland. The um, Prince Polo Classic, which is a uh, exceptionally crunchy bar with wafers and rich dark chocolate. Now, I am a fine lover of dark chocolate. It's one of my all-time favorite types of sweets. But I don't usually eat a whole lot of dark chocolate because it ends up um, getting in between my teeth. And I don't like that very much. I don't like that. So I got a little piece broken off here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat it. I know. Surprising. Surprising. But I'm going to do that thing. That is, um, 
that is a high grade of chocolate. That is a very, very, very tasty chocolate. That is perfect. The perfect blend of chocolate right there. It's not like too much milk uh, and and it's not like so bitter that I can't eat it. That's just like the perfect amount of dark and the perfect amount of um, richness to the chocolate. That is perfect. And the wafers kind of add this like little bit of crunch to the flavor of the or to the texture of the candy bar. So I can see why this is one of the more popular pieces. That is, oh, that is so good. That's good. That's really good. That's like, um, that is top quality. That is top quality chocolate candy bars. It's hard to find stuff like that here in the United States. And I'm, I'm so glad that I can get to taste something that has some real good quality to it. So what we have next is what we call Petit Berea. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's French. I know Petit is French, but I don't know what butter means. But um, this is a delicious butter biscuit, perfect for pairing with coffee or tea. So I have with me a cup of coffee. But unfortunately, the cup of coffee is a little bit cold. And yes, it's out of a rainbow dash mug. What do you do? You have a problem with that? You want to fight about it? Hey, you want to fight about it? You know, no, I'm not gonna fight you. It would be kind of hard. I'd have to punch my computer screen. And if I did that, it might not be such a wise idea. That could be spelled bad for my computer screen. Okay, so what we got here. Ooh, ooh! I like the smell of this one. Mmm, that reminds me of like, mmm. It's like it's kind of like a graham cracker almost, but a little more rich. It like it's harder, more solid than a graham cracker. It seems to be um, smells a lot, a lot better, a lot richer. It it seems like it's gonna be one of these uh, really strong biscuits that a lot of people like to eat with their coffee and whatnot. So. I'm gonna try taste test this without the coffee, and then I'm gonna taste it with the coffee. So, oh, pieces, pieces, pieces. It does taste a little like a graham cracker, a little bit. After you get to the initial like sweetness of it, it tastes like it does taste like a cracker, a graham cracker, but. Actually, no, it tastes more like the teddy bear crackers. Do you, If you guys ever tasted some of those teddy bear crackers from, I don't know if they still make those, but that that's what it tastes a little like, except for less like the sugar coating. Uh, that sugar coating is completely gone, and it's all just the cracker, and that's what that pretty much tastes like. So I am now going to take my rainbow dash mug and dip it in here, and now try it with coffee. Mm. Yeah, not bad. I can definitely see myself eating these with um, with my coffee. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's a perfect, perfect dippable for your coffee. I highly suggest it. You know, when I was first reading about the um, Poland a bit. A uh, little bit of the tidbits of information from Poland. Apparently, in grocery stores over there, one of the biggest sections of their store is the candy slash snack section of their store. So, if you got snacks like this Poland all the time, I can see why. God damn, we're on off to a really good start. So far, everything that I've tried so far from the Poland snack crate, it's delicious. It's amazing so far. Everything has been top quality, like no like assy aftertaste or any like um, taste from the um, chemicals that they use to uh, preserve stuff and like that and stuff like that. It doesn't taste any of it. I don't taste any of it. So it's actually been going very well for me. However, I do unfortunately have something that seems a bit odd to me next. 
which is the plum in chocolate. This is a <laughs> cho plum, a fresh plum covered in pure chocolate. It's a very traditional uh, candy there in Poland. So this is going to be hopefully awfully tasty because uh, I'm not sure. I don't know much about plums. So, like plums is not one of those things I eat very often. I think I've only had plum juice like uh, 15 years ago at this point. So, so let's see how a real traditional um, Polish candy goes. Ow. Tastes like a raisinette. Tastes like raisinettes, the chocolate covered raisins. Except for huge. Mm hmm. Good chocolate. Very good chocolate. Plum. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> but. Mm. Good combo. Very good combo. I like that. So far, I'd say that the plum and chocolate was my least favorite, even though it's still good. Even though it's still good. The plum and chocolate, well, the only part about it was the plum afterward was a little hard to swallow for me, personally. But, it doesn't mean that it wasn't tasty, it was actually very tasty. It's just kind of hard to get through, it was a little hard for me to get through, but I have my next thing, which is called... Usatatsuki, or Uzatatsukai. This is a very traditional and popular Polish snack. This is actually gingerbread, Polish gingerbread, coated in sugar. Uh, something really caught my eye about these gingerbreads here, and that is a, unfortunately, Fucking look like a fidget spinner. Maybe now I can get bonus points off of YouTube and maybe I'll get some fans on my side or something by putting fidget spinner and fidget spinner bullshit in my fucking title. Fidget spinner food or some bullshit. No, I would not stoop that though. I'm not an asshole. Mm. Whoa, okay. Um. That is... Not the gingerbread I was expecting. It's very soft. Like, it is a bread. The ginger is slight. There's not a whole heck of a lot of ginger in the gingerbread. This is a classic gingerbread. This is a very tasty classic gingerbread. This isn't the same stuff you buy at the store, mostly in America, where it's like a cookie. Instead, it's more of a... It really is more of a bread, like banana bread. It's very tasty. These are very tasty. I like these. I like these lo a lot. Why is everything so good from the Polish candy stores? Goddamn Polish people, you know exactly what you're doing when it comes to making candy and chocolate. We have a crow kawi. Crow kawi ko crow ko 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 crow ko 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 kawi. Ko crow ko crow ko ko kawi. Coco Coco Kawi, which is made by Wawul Chocolate, which apparently is like the Willy Wonka of Polish chocolate over there. So, um, what it is is just a chocolate bar that surrounds a bunch of caramel, and that's that's something that we have seen quite a few times on this channel as well as seen in America. So. Here is to seeing how good the caramel and the chocolate are in this candy bar. Mm hmm. The chocolate is a very thin layer. And it's a very smooth, very like um, creamy caramel. Mmm. Oh my god, that is. That is magical. That is, like, when I think of caramel and chocolate, that is what I think. This is a perfect blend of creamy caramel and a thin layer of chocolates that doesn't overwhelm the caramel. Just adds a hint of chocolate flavor to the caramel. It's a very well-blended chocolate bar. 
I can see why that's like the Willy Wonka of chocolate bars over there. That's the Hershey's of, of over there. That is fucking superb. That is a s top quality. All the, the stuff I've gotten today is constant top quality stuff. It is so good. I'm being spoiled. I'm being spoiled on this good chocolate and good snacks because sooner or later, I'm going to have to go back to really bad stuff. These are called Pelusigsgai. Pelusigsgai, or however you pronounce that in the uh, uh, Dutch. That is stupid. That is stupid and racist. No, it's um, countryist, isn't it? No. These are actually what in pronounced, like translated are Polish little fingers. They are similar to salted pretzels. These are easily the most popular salty snack in all of Poland. So let us see how well pretzels do here. But the thing of it is, is that I've never been a big fan of pretzels. Pretzels are like, to me, the one of the most blandest things you can find in the world. They're just so damn bland. So here's what they look like, and um, yep, it looks just like a, a pretzel stick. So mm. oh, not much flavor to it. Mmm. It really doesn't have that much flavor to it. Hmm. Yeah. They're just pretzels. Man, that's it. That's all they are. Pretzels. Move on again to another candy bar, another chocolate. And this is what they call Dzatsky. I think, again, I, I, uh, if you thought I, my French was bad, my Polish is even worse. Uh, it's a milk chocolate coated biscuit with caramel, hazelnuts, raisins, and rice crisps. Now, I have no idea how well that's going to blend all together. That sounds like, that sounds like the, um, the candy factory had a bunch of leftover items and didn't know what to do with them, so they just threw it into a candy bar and called it, hey, hey, and called it a day. Now, here you go. Here's your candy bar. What is it? It's got everything in it. It's like, it sounds like the, um, the fruitcake of the candy bar world. So, let's, as I always say, though, don't knock it until you try it. Mm. All right. I taste the caramel. Oh. Oh, that is weird. I don't know how to explain that. Can I get another bite? It's not bad, but it was bad for a second. That was really weird. Once in a while, I'll run into a hazelnut or a, like a raisin flavor to it, and it just has this weird, overpowering sense sometimes. That is strange. I don't, I don't know well how to feel about that. I don't know how to feel. Feelings. No, I don't. I don't know. I just something about that is just odd. It really is. It's just really odd. On to some chips. Chips. These are called lapsies. These are onion and cheese flavored potato chips made in the traditional. Try, 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 try harder. Try harder, Mr. Skids, because that was wrong. Traditional Polish style. So these are originally original Polish style chips. So I'm not. These are probably the weirdest ones out of all of them. Out of all the chips I've ever tried on this show. 
Um, these are very different. Like, I've never seen chips quite so puffy as these. If you ever had those baby food things, those little pellet baby things that you give people, don't ask me how I've tried those. But they taste sort of like those as a chip form. As like, And the chip's very puffy. It starts out as like a puffy snack until, um, but it has a crunch to it at first. But once you cr start crunching into it, it just dissolves into like a pasty form. But that's good. It tastes great. It's really great. I actually prefer those over like regular potato chips. That's actually really awesome. I like those a lot. And now I move on to something I've been looking forward to this entire time. This is a tiramusu, uh, tiramusu bar, which is uh, French. And it is a chocolate bar filled with creamy taramusi, which is... Uh, that's the French part. That's actually a uh, coffee-flavored Italian custard dessert, which means that it's a dessert within a dessert. Therefore, it is dessertception. Dun 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 dun, or or that dun dun, or whatever that bassy noise they use for that stupid movie is from. So I've been looking forward to this one because I love coffee-flavored stuff, and this sounds. Fucking amazing like it's gonna be the it sounds like it's gonna be the best one out of them but knowing my luck it's probably going to be the worst out of them also I don't know how to fucking open this thing good for me so the co chocolate's a little bit melted on one side but that's okay so we got the piece right here so um got a bit of a creamy like frosting like stuff on the inside mmm this one's tasting a little suspect. Hold on. Mmm. Mmm. It's not a... It was a custard dessert, not a pudding dessert like I thought. That's a... That's a custard texture, not a... Not a pudding texture. I thought it was going to be pudding for some odd reason. Mmm. I like it. I really like it. Hmm. There's like little pieces of um coffee in there. There's like little crumbly pieces on coffee cake. There's little pieces of those in there. A little bit of crunchiness to it. That is delicious. At first it tasted a little suspect. I wasn't sure what was going on. But then... Once I got past the initial chocolate into the more um, custard flavor, it's just so good. It's the perfect fucking flavoring. Mmm, mmm, that's good. Oh my god, everything has just been so fucking tasty this time round. I'm so excited. Oh boy. <laughs> just, now I have a ton of snacks that I'm going to enjoy for the rest of the month. And they're all so fucking good. Mmm, mmm. God damn, Poland. God damn. You really do know how to make your snacks fucking perfect. Oh, man. I love it. If I, if I had to move to a country and learn... If I had to learn Polish and I had to move to Poland, I would not be objective to it very much because I could enjoy fucking snacks and foods that would make me 370 pounds after... Uh, chowing down a few of those pretzels, it feels like my palate has been cleansed of the deep chocolate. And now, I can move on to the coupe de gras. The, uh, icing on the cake, as it were. This is Orenzoda, yo. Orenzoda, yo. This is a intensely flavored soda that is made with oranges, apples, and black currant juice. Black currant being like a berry slash bush, like a bush that makes berries in the um, temperate parts of northern Europe. So uh, I've never actually tried a black currant. That is something very foreign to me. And the key word here is intense. I uh, have a bad feeling about this one. This one sounds like uh, it's going to be really, really, really sugary. And it's just going to be really, really, 
really bad. Like it's just gonna rot my teeth instantly. I'm just gonna you're gonna see all my teeth go plink as soon as I take a sip from this. So uh, <laughs> um, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I guess. Mm. Whoa, oh. What? Mm. Oh. Okay then. Okay then. That. Fuck me. How do I describe that flavor? What the fuck is this? That's got to be the um the black currant juice. That's so fucking strange. What a strange flavor. It's I can taste the orange and I can taste the apple. But it's just that weird other flavor that's in there. It's just it, it it's so odd. It tastes a little like blackberries, but not. It's a little more bitter than blackberries. It's so, that is fucking weird. Holy shit. That's like one of that's even weirder than the milk soda. That's weirder than the last drink last time. Mm. At least the other one was delicious. This one is just strangely goes from being bitter to sweet to bitter to intense. I can see why they call it intense. What the fuck is that? That is so weird. Uh, that is like... I, st I still don't rate that as my worst thing. The worst thing on my list was the... Um, oh, what was it now? The plum. The plum chocolate. That was my the worst thing on my list. I didn't like that as much as everything else. But there wasn't a bad thing on this entire list of things that I've been doing today. Not a single bad thing. And that is surprising to me. I've been, I've done three of these so far. And most of the time there's at least one really bad thing I hate on the, on the, um, in the list there. But today, I haven't had a single bad one. Just weird ones, good, really good ones, Good ones and weird ones, but nothing like awful. All right, so that is the Polish box, and that was definitely worth getting. If you um, if you get the Polish snack crate, it's definitely worth your uh, your money and your time. And it seems like they have very choice snacks. They're they're very forward thinking when it comes to snacks. And so, uh, yeah, if you do get Polish snacks, I'm pretty sure you're going to have a good time. Good time. So thank you, guys. I'm glad you tuned in to watch this. I hope I, my editing goes well at the end of this because this is going to be awful. There was a lot of interruptions. But it's okay. And I thank you all for watching. Tune in for my next videos. And remember, I have a Patreon. You can find it in the link below. It support it, Helping support me allows me to make more of these videos. So I, I can actually keep up and uh, keep being creative for you guys. So thank you all for joining me. And hopefully I will see you all next time. Bye.